Listen to my minstrels. Look at how beautiful. And by look, I actually mean listen, because you can't really look at sounds. Contrary to popular belief, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Kingdoms and Castles. So we have a bit of a situation, and let me show you that. So we're going to load. We're going to load this one. Confirm land. Look. Oh, there's our kingdom in the background. See in the upper right? Now keep in mind that this is an alpha, right? But look, but here's the menu. So there's the extent of our kingdom. Real quick, I need to ask you guys this because it looks like the way that I'm doing walls is incorrect. Mine look like they're literally stacked on each other. If you look in the upper left where you can see the towers, and sorry, I just can't access this. So basically what I'm saying is we have to start over. In the last episode I asked, should we start over? And it was up and down the middle, you know, up and down the middle. No, the, the vote was split, right? So for those of you veterans, how do I build walls that look nice because this just looks like three walls stacked on each other but I, i've seen in the pictures that they can look very nice so i just assume that i'm doing it incorrectly so here we go i cannot i cannot load i cannot load my save now this is an alpha build this isn't all too uncommon in fact it is incredibly common that when games are updated your previous saves are no longer valid but since we were you know undecided about whether look at this Wait, can I accept this? Huh. But yes, yeah, so people were asking, is this procedurally generated? Yes, check this out. Any land we want. So we're gonna do a map selection. I want a big open area for the castle. Look at this, see, and they're all kind of like, there's a little bit of islands, look at that. That's actually a nice flat island with some decent rocks. I don't know what this is yet, but I, I, don't, I don't like these kingdoms yet. Ooh, this is it, guys. This is it. We've got a nice big flat area, and then we've got a lake. Well, there could be it. There could also be better ones, right? That's the thing with procedural generation. I like this. I want a big lake so we can build a lake town. This is perfect. Okay, guys. So in the past, we picked a narrow peninsula, right? So since we're starting over... I'm gonna be doing two things. One is I'm gonna be cutting out some dead bits and also I'm gonna start, actually, you know what? I'm gonna start from the beginning, but the idea was by Philip Nuvinsky, new kingdom, but speed it up. So before we start, let's go over, let's pause it. And I don't think it, I don't, oh, actually the birds are paused. They're actually slightly moving. These birds are breaking the game. It's awesome. Anyway, so. We're gonna go over all your comments and suggestions and advice from the last episode. So, since we can't load the old gameplay, we gotta build a new kingdom, and we need a name for it. Ladies and gentlemen, we've gotta build. We've gotta make the kingdom great again, and we are gonna make the Vikings pay for it. A comedy, yeha! So, fear thee not, this is going to be beautiful. We're gonna have a much better start than last time. We have experience now. Now, Dragonettes of Destiny was saying that the toast is, you know what, let's, let's get this started. So let's see, where do we want the keep? Now I'm thinking I want the keep to face where I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a road and a bridge. I wanna get a bridge over here. This tile right here. So if I just tra trace back like this. I think that's good, right? Wait, shouldn't it be one over then? Yeah, it should be like this. We're going to have the bridge go from the main path. See, we're doing what's called central planning. How do we get rid of these rocks? Maybe central planning is borked right now. Actually, we don't need to do that. We're going to have this. Oh my God, there's a lake right here. What? Guys, there's just no perfect start, is there? Should we? Oh, actually, we just started. So I guess we have to do this. Hmm. So these are the decisions, right? We want to do some central planning. We want to have decent walls. All right, I selected a new map because I like this area right here. There's not a lot of black stone, which I don't think is removable, right? So there's all this forested area we can chop up. Plus, as we chop up these trees, which we need to do for beginning resources, we have access to pretty nice arable farm. I'm gonna put the castle right here. We've just gotta go with it. I'm not gonna worry about planting a bridge too much. So we're gonna do that. Ladies and gentlemen, our new kingdom, what shall we name it? So Dragon Set of Destiny was saying that toast is actually a loaf of bread. Oh yeah, we're paused. I was like, why aren't they building it? Okay, so 
We're gonna start out a little bit slow. We're gonna need... We are gonna want some farms. Let's put them... Oh yeah, we need to put a granary, right? Small granary. Trees and stone. So we're gonna need... We're gonna need some trees. And we're gonna need some houses. I think we should build a house first to get more people in. Let's see, we've got 12 wood. Let's go to the town. It's only five. This will be okay. We need to build a road, sir. Well, let's just put the first road down in our new kingdom. <clears throat> and then these are where the beginning houses are gonna be. They're gonna be in a nice row here. So, let us start that. Our first house. And then let's chop down. I wish you could drag and tell which trees to chop down. We're gonna chop down all the trees that are closest to it. What? That was interesting, did you see that? We can't chop that one down. I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe it's because we have four and we, yeah, that's why. We only have four people. So once this house is completed, we should have, be able to get eight. So now we've gotta get food started first. We're gonna start in this area because it's closest. And we'll put a, uh, I'm gonna put one here actually. Economy. Because I'm gonna put, oh, it's too far from the roads, huh? Well, we need to fix that. That is the, that is not the piece I wanted. Okay. Hopefully we can place one now. Economy, farm, perfect. Can we put one there? Actually, I guess we, yeah, that's why. Okay, now I, I'm assuming we might need another house relatively soon. Now let's chop down these trees here. And see, the thing is, is the forester will eventually Chop that one down too. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so we got these people going. We're gonna speed things up. Now, the only thing I have is when it's winter, it'd be still nice to have a different color for the roads because it's so bright and beautiful that sometimes you can get a little bit mixed up as to what is what. All right, do we need a small granary? We need stone for that. So we can build the quarry now. We're gonna have to build a road this way. Let us do it. Look at this. We're. I feel like, why can't, oh, that's part of the castle? Well. That kind of looks dumb, though, doesn't it? Ooh, here's some nice farming. This is going to be the farming area. Very agricultural. Um, and then we'll do that. And then let's get this Let's get this stone going. We're going to need another house, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, that one goes right there. Perfect. So we'll build a road to it. We're going to need some stockpiles, I would imagine. We're going to need another house. So going... We'll keep the houses close to the castle. i got to remember to keep to have a wallable section, right? So I'm trying to keep four roads. So we've got three branching off right now. This counts as two. So that way I only have to do four gatehouses. Also, somebody was saying, Crazy Spam suggested that we can put, check this out, an archer tower probably on the central keep. That might be the best spot to do it at, right? Now remember, I do need help. We gotta figure out the wall section. So we're decent on food right now. Um, how is that going? Let's let's chop down that one. And we'll chop down this one, because there's just so much beautiful farmland over here. And I want access to all of it. This one? Oh, it does have a hatchet over it. Okay, perfect. Let's see, yeah, we need we need another house immediately, right? So let's do that. Get a nice little house here. Oh, and then the thunder, right? Okay, so. We'll keep this, like, we'll have our houses nice and close. Look at, what is this? Is the rain pooling in little pools right here? Is that what's going on? I think so, actually. All right, so we don't really need our advisors right now. So let's, we are going to be speeding it up. Let's see, year three, we need this built. Oh, you know what I... I don't want to demolish, but I, I know that you guys were telling me once this is fixed... Actually, we need we need them to build this house prior to this quarry. Yeah, just build the house, guys. Build the house. We only need five wood. All the wood's right here. Are you guys going to listen to your lord? How many people actually work on the farm? Because it looks like three right there. Let's see. One out of one, but I guess like in the harvest, people... 
you know, are talking about. So I'm going to keep a, bran a granary really close. And this time we're not going to make the mistake of building the giant one. We're just going to build a smaller one closer to it. Because that, co that cost a lot of resources and we did it too early. It actually messed things up for us. So it's year three and I think about la year 15 we were hit by the Vikings last time, right? See, look at this. I'm going to close that. So then nobody's working on that right now until this is done. See, thank you guys for the suggestions. I read your comments. I read your advice. They are greatly appreciated. And for something like this, which we make into a series, we make this a series as a community. So feel free to give suggestions, ideas. You know, that's why I like to say, like, what should we name the kingdom? I want this to be a very much, very much a community driven, you know, idea maybe we should have put the road there but then it, it didn't fit there so it didn't look as cool i wonder if you can upgrade this thing taxes so let's see food is definitely fine at this level i think we're gonna go for another house should we go for two houses oh we're actually low on trees let's chop down the trees that are closest There we go. We've got lots of trees to chop. Actually, we still have those. Oh, that guy like fell in the water and then got back out. Okay. We might need a stockpile at some point. We've got one stone currently. I don't see... Oh yeah, that's because I closed it, right? We have eight beds. We have four people though. And we have no idle people, so... I'm wondering why we don't have people coming into town. Food production's pretty good. See, I'm going to put the... Uh, what we have is this thing, a windmill, and I'm gonna put it right here. So right from the beginning, our first panels are all gonna be very efficient. And then I'm gonna build a granary very close. And then I'm gonna turn all of this area into some very fertile farmland. All right, we got seven people finally. Jeez, we've got 12 beds, but only seven people. I guess we've gotta increase the happiness. So we're kind of at this interesting spot. We're producing a lot of food, so what I'm going to do, oh, is I'm gonna try to get this and I'm gonna close that I'm going to close this farmland so one guy goes up here because what we need is things that increase the nicety of our town, right? So we've got two idle people, that's good, but we want four. I'm going to open up the, the stone quarry to get people working on that and let's go to economy now. I need, look at all this stuff, I need all these things. Use for heating and cooking. A charcoal maker, should we do that? Heating and cooking. Cooking would be good, right? Let's get a charcoal maker. Now I want him kind of out here. Let's see, where actually... Hmm, where should we put him? Maybe out here. Yeah. Because maybe heating and cooking would raise happiness, right? See, I feel like we're already at a harder start than the last time. We've got all this wood there waiting. So I don't need to chop down any more wood. I don't need to tell them to do that. We've got plenty of wood. Oh, but I guess, yeah, I guess I had everybody chopping wood. So you can't like close that. They're just going to get it and fill up. So we have way too many people working. Oh, look at this. Okay. So now the stone is up and running. Food is still pretty fine. We're going to want a well. All right, guys, so we've got five idle people. Let's start this up again, open it for work. We're going to build a quarry now. Or not a quarry, excuse me, a granary. That's close to the farms. Let's see, do we got make sure the, the door. A small granary. Oh yeah, that's actually pretty nice. We'll get a nice little road. And we don't have the stone for a windmill just yet but I don't think we need that. All right, so what we've done in this one so far is we're, we're going to make a small area that we can, we can surround with a wall. And I think it's gonna be like right here, right? And then we're gonna expand the kingdom, like living residences probably this way. And then we're gonna keep this area as farmland. It's gonna be tricky to do, right? So I gotta, I gotta keep this in mind because we're, we're getting things very close to each other at the moment. And I don't want to build this road. Oh, people are talking about 
toast, aka loaves of bread, but we're going to call it toast. Whenever we say toast, that means there's a food shortage in the kingdom. So we have... Look at this. Why are they... Why is everybody running over there? These people have not produced enough. Maybe it's time to get more food. We are... Oh, we're low on trees. Okay, well, we're going to mine these trees. Mine. <laughs> chop these trees. Or... Is it almost time for some foresters? Where should we put the foresters, right? Huh. I'm not gonna build over here with farms, so we could we could get a forester over there. Yeah, right now we just need we just need more wood. Oh god. Everybody's hungry. Look at that, just like that. We went from 16 people. We've got two idle people, so we can build some more. And then we can close the quarry when we need to. Actually, right now, I think we're fine on stone. So let's close that, get these four people working on... Let's build an orchard. Now, orchards, I think, do better on fertile lands as well. So we got to build this road properly. We're going to have it curve here. Okay, now I need to wait for the snow to get out of here so that, yeah, look at that, 23 food. So these people are talking about loaves of bread, aka toast. Here we go. So this is going to be, wait, wait, oh, yeah, I guess it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be decent. And then we're going to have the windmill eventually. Can we, oh, we can build one now. Let's just do that. Let's build the windmill now probably time to build another house so we're going to do that small houses right now okay after this is we're gonna have to build a gate here to make this easily to easier to protect or I guess we could just build the walls this way in a, a large rectangle and keep all of our residences I don't know it's so tricky the central planning is not my strength definitely not all right, so let's see. We've got idle. We've got one idle people, so that means we have enough to build, and we're not operating this right now. And we can always close things. But what I've noticed is, like, check this out. This guy, the charcoal maker, he makes happiness go up considerably. Like heating and cooking. So a charcoal maker, which we never built in the last one, is doing so much better. So it's year nine, and in about year fifteen, the Vikings attack. People are still hungry for their toast. We've got nothing in the granary. Is it a granary? It is a granary. Sure, there's a lot of food, but technically granaries for grains. Would apples go in a granary or like, you know, a food storage? Here we go. Here's the food we need. So I'm pretty sure that this whole food shortage is, is caused a definite drop in happiness. So you can see now that we have food, it, it should go up, hopefully to the 70s. But zero wanted to, oh, but only, Three people want to stay, but only not too many could find homes. So it's like right now, there's there's this delicate balancing act between rapid expansion and making sure you have enough food. So what are we missing here? We're waiting for 18 wood. Oh, that's, that's the issue. We have no wood. Well, we have it over here. All right, let's, let's agree to chop. Actually, cancel. No. Where should we have the yeah the wood guy is gonna go over here? Let's get him up and running. Now we're short on trees. The irony. We're gonna chop all the trees down here. This is just gonna be an agricultural hub. So I can't build anything since I'm low. But how much does this cost? A forester costs five stone, which we don't have, so we're gonna have to open that up again. My god. I feel like I still don't know exactly the best way to start. But we've got lots of people chopping wood, so that's where actually where our workers are. So I think we're we're doing okay. Happiness is at 78. We've got three idle bodies. So and now that we've got that, let's get let's get the road going north. From here. That's where the north road's gonna go. And now let's get, we need five stones, so we need to open this up. Once most of these people are done with that, I think 
Yeah, it's time to do that. Open it up. We'll have two abled bodies. People, look, these people are hanging out in their houses. And food's at, food's low. Food is low again. Why is that? Food is so low. Maybe an orchard. Soil is not fertile enough here. I could put an archer or an orchard. It'd be cool if we could put one like over here. But it needs to be close to the roads. We're gonna put it here. No, technically it should be there. Economy. Nope, that is not what I want. I wanted a road so that we could build our orchard. And then we're gonna want a house. And then we're gonna want a forester, which we're gonna have to chop down more trees. Actually, we don't. All the wood's there. I feel like we've got all the wood we need. We just gotta collect it. We've got the stone that we need, so let's go ahead and close that. I feel like we have enough stone. We just gotta get a forester up and running. Look at that, happiness is 78. And all we have is this charcoal thing. This charcoal thing is key, but since it's over way over here, you think, oh, that's like a late tier thing that I should get. Nope, I recommend that from the beginning. So we've got all four roads. This one could be better, and we could always rebuild it in the future. Like here. Or we could just, uh, we're gonna have to put a gatehouse. It'd be, it'd be, it wouldn't be symmetrical. Ooh, look at the apples. There we go. I feel like between the orchards and these farms with the windmill running, oh, it would have been cool to have the windmill like face this way. But here it looks nice, look at that. A beautiful start to a beautiful kingdom, ladies and gentlemen. What are we gonna name this kingdom? It is year 11. I kind of want to get to the first Viking attack. All right, we can build our forester. So I think chops and replants trees. Now I think I can put two here. This is what I'm not entirely sure about. If I put two foresters there, do, do they overlap? Like, do they kind of cut in? Look at all these seagulls. All the seagulls are hanging out. This must be their nesting area. So that means if we chop them down, maybe there won't be any more seagulls. Are there other seagull nesting areas on this island? No, the seagulls seem to aggro around our place. Maybe they like to poop on our castle. Maybe we gotta fend off against pooping seagulls. But look at this, we've got 24 people, there's five idle bodies while running everything. So we'll probably want a well over here. Stone, well, we've got the stone, we've got the quarry running. We definitely are gonna want a well over here to protect all this farmland, right? Where would we want it? Right here. That seems pretty good. No, but that's where the road is, right here. The road's gonna cut this way around and probably connect. And then this is all barren area, so we're gonna have to use it as, you know. Okay, stone, we've got a quarry. We've got a Forester, it's year 12 in the next episode. We will be attacked by Vikings. Ladies and gentlemen, we did have to restart this series as a result of, you know, just alpha updates or like kind of a bug, whatever it was. Um, if, actually, this is still alpha build three. So I'm gonna check like the forums, talk to the dev, see what happened with that, just so we don't lose this one too. I'd hate to re like keep restarting. Um, but it's gonna be exciting to see what they add in Alpha 4. I'm loving this game. We still haven't even seen dragons or ogres or multiple Viking battles where there's like multiple ships. But I'm thinking our first archer tower should go here, if that is possible. I actually wonder if you can like, what these are, if you can upgrade that, like. You can't place it because we have insufficient resources, but I wonder if you can upgrade that area. There's a lot to learn. People are talking about loaves of bread, but we have 68 out of 250, and they're actually storing more. We've got five idle bodies, plenty of workers. I feel like this is a very good start. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Sorry for the restart. Some of you wanted me to keep on the next one. Some, a lot of you also wanted me to restart. We had to do what we had to do. I showed you why. And ladies and gentlemen, this is our kingdom now. Goodbye, advisors. I'll see you guys in the next episode.